Hey, what's up guys? So this is the Freevision Vilta M Pro smartphone gimbal, which comes with a host of unique features that you can't find on most gimbals these days, with the highlight being the wireless charging feature. So let's go ahead and give you an in-depth review of all the standout features. Okay, so kicking off, this isn't the smallest or foldable gimbal that you found, but it is very lightweight with its plastic build quality and solid axis and controls. It has an amazing 17 hour battery life, which really helps if you want to re reverse wireless charge your phone with the gimbal. But note, when recording video, the wireless charging is paused. If you don't want to use wireless charging and have your phone continually charged throughout, then you have the standard USB-A port found on the mount that you can use with your cable. It also has a rubber grip on the handle on the front side only, which makes it comfortable and easy to hold. Here's a quick rundown on what buttons you can find on the front of the gimbal. These are the buttons found on the side. The top one is the focus zoom button and you have Mark A and Mark B buttons underneath to quickly switch between subjects of different depths of field. You have two wheels to the left. The focus zoom wheel is in silver and the parameter wheel is in black to cycle through the settings such as the ISO on the Freevision app. On the right hand side, you have the USB-C charging port for faster charging than the typical micro USB gimbals out there. You have the recenter and multifunction button at the back side of the gimbal. You can switch the gimbal to record in portrait mode in one of two ways. Firstly, there is an orientation adjustment knob behind the mount. You turn it in the unlock direction, manually twist the mount to be portrait and lock the knob back into place and you're ready to shoot portrait videos. For example, you can use this for Instagram stories. Secondly, if you have it in landscape mode and want to quickly record something portrait and don't have the time to adjust, all you can do is simply tilt the whole gimbal sideways and it stabilizes it in portrait mode, although it will be harder to utilize the buttons. Now let's give you an overview of the Freevision mobile app and what features you can expect to play around with. As you can see on the top left, you have the battery phone percentage and the uh, Vilta gimbal percentage as well. So this will give you an indication if you'd like to charge your phone using the gimbal if you have enough battery. Take a look at the menu options. So on the top left you have your camera settings. Here you can do a time lapse mode. As you can see there, it gives you two, five and 10 seconds. You have a panorama option as well. So you can do so different types of dimensions for the panorama. You can turn on HDR mode, change the white balance, have a look at the grid options that it provides and then let's switch to the camera manual mode if you need to as well. If you switch into video mode on the right hand side, the camera options there change. So now you have the uh, different types of lapse modes. So there's four types, the static time, dynamic time, motion time, and motion lapse. I'll leave a link in the description of how you can find out more information about each of these modes. And again, you can change the white balance, the grid, the camera manual mode, and this really cool function I like, which is called the dolly zoom. So I have a sample clip of that in a second. If you go back into the second option in the left hand navigation, it gives you the uh, follow settings. So scene mode, you can change walk, sports, or have your custom made ones. The most common one is walk, so I can turn that on now. You also have the different types of follow modes. You have four different types, so I will cover clips of these as well. And lastly, you can change the wheel function on the actual gimbal. So I've set it to zoom, but you can also have that as the follow focus or change the different types of axes. The third option in the menu is the uh, advanced settings for the actual gimbal as well and your camera. So if you want to change the resolutions of your photos or videos, you can do that here. Any settings around the time lapse, the locking modes, the audio, or the speeds and the various different settings you can change. You also have the uh, gimbal settings, you can adjust them from here as well, so multiple ones there. You can also turn on wireless charging here. So when the gimbal battery is less than 20%, the wireless charging will be disabled so if I go ahead and switch that on I can now charge my phone as you can see the battery has now started to uh, charge now if I go into the joystick you can adjust the settings and the speeds of the actual joystick on the gimbal as well and then you also have some information about the gimbal itself on the right hand side you also have this second option there which I've just tapped and that is basically uh, the uh, follow mode. So if you set your gimbal in one position, you tap on a screen somewhere, it will basically ask, so for example like this, it will basically lock that in and if that starts moving, so if I move around now, you can see the gimbal is actually 
keeping it locked on that tree in the distance so I'm trying to turn in different directions here at the moment and it will stay locked on that tree so if you're at a sports game and you want to target one specific person or player then you can lock them the second to last option on the right hand side is to switch the camera around as you can see I've just done that now and then the bottom one is the uh, flash option there as well so on the top right you can have a look at all of your gallery of photos and videos that you've taken using the gimbal so now that's done let's go ahead and uh, show you some clips of what this can do Overall, this is probably one of my favorite gimbals I've purchased thus far, because not only is it one of the very few wireless charging gimbals out there, possibly just one out of just two of them, but it comes with so many pro features that you can't match this with the price versus the capability, so it's a big thumbs up from me. And I had no issues connecting the gimbal app with this, which I've struggled in the past with a lot of other gimbals using an Android app, but this one just connected the first time round and it's not given me any problems since. So keep an eye on the description below for where you can actually purchase this gimbal and check the current pricing and also check if there's any active coupon codes for you guys to get a awesome discount on this gimbal. So all of the links will be down in the description below and if you have any other questions then please do drop a comment I'll get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching guys stay tuned for more gimbal reviews in the future so make sure you hit that subscribe button hit the like button as well if you found this useful and I'll catch you guys very soon.